they seemed happy to be there. Three of the boys are Manchester United supporters, one Chelsea and one Arsenal. They are all much better than me, even the girl whose name is Lizzie. She supports Liverpool and is in a bad mood about it because they hardly win anything anymore. All the others call Liverpool loser pool. Hee <laughs> hee, I think it's quite funny too. Then one of the others asked me which team I supported. I panicked and couldn't remember any team names. Liverpool? Duh. I don't know. I was trying... Why? I was trying to talk to the kids anyways. They all speak funny. Did you see that screamer by Drogba? Drog... What? He's a screamer? Even I don't do that at soccer. Not often, anyway. Back heel? They play with their heels? Ronaldo's back heel was fabulous. Who are they trying to call Henry? Just call him Henry, like everyone else. Henry's handball was a bit rubbish. Later, Dad told me, Didier Jogba plays for Chelsea. A screamer is a shot on the goal that struck very hard. Using the back of the hill, heel is a skill. Henry is French, and that's how you're supposed to say his name. Yeah, whatever. He has cheated and scored a goal with his hand. Dad must be out of his mind. What kind of role model is that for a child? For me. Does he want me to learn how to cheat? Where in Slovenia and why would anyone want to draw it? Translation. Slovenia is England's group in the World Cup and might be quite hard to beat. Back to soccer training. You pass using the side of your foot. You shoot using your boot laces. Here's the deal. I can only just about managed to tie my shoelaces. I still have to say, one loop, two loops, twist through the hole. Pull in with a whisper with my tongue sticking out of the corner of my mouth when I do it. What are the chances I can score a goal with my bootlaces? The kids kept saying strange things like, Renato can move the ball both ways, from a free kick. Should I have told them that nothing in life is free? Chapter 7 of Bootstraps. This is what it actually means. The Colts told us to turn with the ball. It made me dizzy. It made me even dizzier to watch Jack talk to the feet Gordon do it. Coach asked us to skip on and off the ball. Do I look like a circus elephant? And then we were invited to play a match against a park side. The other kids were hopping up and down with excitement. I was devastated. I hadn't even learned to play yet. I thought this was supposed to be training. Has the coach been reading Dad's book? Train smart, not hard. Well... The rest, as they say, is history, and now I now officially have the most famous bottom in school, more famous than the bottom of Frederick Winterthrup, who was bitten by a school the school cat, Joshua Day, who got too close to a Bunsen burner, he needed skin grafts, Henry, not Henri. Holiday, who got stuck in the revolving door. It's all about timing, getting through those. I need a magic spell to make me invisible. Since I don't have one of those, I beg Dad to let me give up soccer instead. Never give up, never give in. He sounds like his book, even when he isn't reading out loud from it. 
At the next training lesson, the kids still hadn't stopped laughing at my bottom goal. The coach asked everyone to head the ball to each other. The kids played bottom ping pong instead. We moved on to the next drill. We practiced stepovers, or at least the others practiced stepovers. I practiced step ons, step ins, and step arounds. It's a step over, Marcus. I also practiced the sit down and the fall down. The others played more bottom ping pong. Lizzie took pity on me. I stayed silent. I think I made her nervous by mentioning Dad's book because she skipped away. She did a triple step over on the way. It looked so easy when she did it, so I tried again. Practice makes perfect. Have you been reading my dad's book? I, dished, I did my special, stand on and fall over.